Hey guys, so in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to navigate large files and try not to be overwhelmed by the file size, it's just mostly filler text. And if you see any at symbols at the bottom of the terminal, that just means that your lines are longer than the terminal length and width. So now let's learn how to navigate this file. So to move to the beginning of the file, you want to press GG. And then to press um, G, capital G would move to the end of the file. You can also press something like 5G to move to the fifth line of the file. So we can do that. And for scrolling, we can do Control F for page down or Control B for page up. And then we can also do Control D for half a page down and Control U for half a page up. So just practice that here. And there's also something really cool that um, Vim offers and you can reposition the screen with the Z key. So if you press Z return, it moves the current line to the top of the screen. So it's kind of like a repositioning scheme. And then Z period would move the current line to the center and Z dash would move it to the bottom. So let's just go to the first checkpoint here and try pressing Z return. And you can see that the text or the cursor is now at the top of the screen. So now let's go to our second checkpoint, and we can do this quickly by pressing uh, capital M, which goes to the midline of our screen. And here, let's just try pressing Z period, and this positions the cursor now at the mid-level of our screen. So we can move down to our third checkpoint, and then if we press G, we're at the bottom of the file. So now let's go back up. Let's, pay, let's press uh, Control U to go half a page up and go down a little. Where is our fourth check? Oh, here it is. Okay, so fourth checkpoint. So here we can press Z minus and then it'll move our cursor to the bottom row of our screen. All right, so yeah, just practice those keys and yeah, I'll see you in the next video.